Hey there, this is k 4 a Knowledge for All and in this video today we are going to learn how and when you can use Game Maker GML drag and drop block which is called case. So in previous video we have learned to add some kind of switch block but it alone doesn't work. You can you cannot even start a game, it gives you some malform switch statement that's all cool all you have to do is scroll to switch group of blocks and find case click and drag it and we have to put something on it but even without any values it will uh, start the game so that's at least something okay so let's see first what happens when we hover over the case it says a branch to execute in a switch if the case is true okay so so we have uh, nope not this one but uh, this one okay so we have seen that in our game um, I wanted to define some uh, kind of if questions but more than one more than one question which is connected in terms of question can be one but I have multiple possible answers so for example if my coin value is one I want to do something if my coin value is something else I want to do something else and so on so for value one do this for value two do that for value three do that and so on different possible values and i want to connect different code to it that switch that magic key is in my case coin value which can be randomly given from game maker to be from one to ten and depending on that value I want to define possible cases uh, possible cases in my case in my game are for example my game designer says if value of one of uh, coin is one I want the uh, color to be red or something like that if value is two I want it to be green and so on or maybe even more interesting we can change the size of the instance the size of the coin so i will say if the coin value is what is one i want my set instance scale to be uh, one is 100 percent so 10 percent is 0 0.1 on horizontal and vertical and i want it to be here yeah so this is case one when the value of my coin is one okay i have to do this even more zoom yeah okay if the switch is the coin value that is my magic key to check so if the coin value is one i want my size my coin to be size of 10 percent so it's very very small 10% of my total default value that is for case one okay I have 10 possible values so I will have maybe 10 cases maybe my game designer says only five or whatever so for the case two the value is what constant I will type two and the empty I want it to be set instant scale drag and drop it i copied it with selecting it with left mouse click then right click copy and then paste i want my my insta scale to be 0.2 so we have defined two values now for one and two and you can see case one scale to 0.1 case two scale to 0.2 simple as that case 3 and you see how this goes very fast it's very clean to create code to change code to delete code to copy paste code to see what 
your code works and so on so copy paste 0 0.3 for my value 3 sorry you can collapse it like this copy yeah i can copy paste the whole whole thing uh, that's that's the great thing for the case four i want it to be and you see how fast it goes we will go with um uh, five cases yeah that's i think enough i'm not, not going to push it to uh, and yeah so zoom out a little bit just to see it better so our magic key our switch is the value of our coin and depending on that value i have defined five cases one two three four five case one is when my coin value is one scale it to 0 0.1 or 10 percent case two scale it to 20 percent case three 30 and so on so let's see if that works in game it works you can see how small these coins are for two is now only 20 percent of the value five is 50 percent but they will behave the same other than that they keep all the codes so when i touch that five coin my coins counter here will go from zero to five yeah when i touch this guy two my coins will go plus two that means five plus two seven plus four 18 plus 7 exit the game so everything works the same but we have defined so many cases here possible cases and again as i have explained in previous video we could do that with if else if 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 as many times f as many cases we, we have but sometimes it will be too much for you sometimes you will want to have it uh, have a nice clean look and also as i have explained in previous video um, game maker i think and most of other game engines they have to check if you put if couple of if variables one below each other they have to test to check every one of them even if they are the same or very similar or even if they found the solution in first one they do not understand they do not care they have to check whatever you say but this guy this switch statement here is when you find the first one the case one it exits this loop so it should be a little bit faster and a little bit more faster when you have lots of those cases uh, that's it for this video i think this was more or less uh, relatively simple to understand but again this is only one example which is uh, the, the, the fastest and the smallest and the simplest I could think about right now. You can use this to make a really, really complex code. You can use this to make cases for your, for example, enemies, like make enemy AI, case one. Uh, when the, you can put in this code here, instead of set instant scales, scale sorry which we have used here you can put whatever and how much as much code as you need as you want for example enemy ai case one if the player so I, I can put my if statement here if the player is near my enemy and the um, distance is less than 10 meters then start chasing him that could be case one the case two would be if there is no player uh around uh, just wander around or uh, sit down uh, light a cigarette uh, case three or whatever um, if the player uh, is hurting me and uh, killing me run away and so on so you can make state machines you can make uh, a very very complex code you can also use instead of these case constants which i have used numbers i think you can use uh, variables that uh, text strings and so on i think i'm not sure some of those uh, uh, game engines are, uh, are not allowing i think uh, 
game maker is cool with that um, and that's it yeah you can really play with this uh, this uh, block group of blocks really really endlessly uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in next one bye for now